welcome to part four of this video. We are getting closer to the end. In this episode, we're going to focus on the paint job. Now, I want to encourage as many people as possible to do a PC build using an old Power Mac G5 case. So I'm going to spend some time talking about spray painting. And the reason I'm doing this is the G5 is made from high quality aluminum and it would be a crying shame to just toss tons of high quality aluminum into a landfill. Now, some people believe that the only way to get a high quality paint job is by sending the computer tower to a company that specializes in spray painting. I can assure you, you do not need to spend hundreds of dollars to get a high quality finish. It all starts with preparation. So the first thing you need to bear in mind is the type of material you're working with. Metal is very easy to work with because usually it just requires slightly roughing up the surface with some sandpaper and then spraying your paint on. With my case mod, I still wanted to keep the middle portion of my case in the beautiful brushed aluminum. So to start, I had to cover it up with painter's tape. Now you absolutely need to use painter's tape because it peels off easily and leaves no residue. In my case, I'll be doing some lettering. So I taped off that specific area first and then I used a template that I printed and stenciled to draw the letters on top of the tape. After that, I used my X-Acto blade to carefully cut out the tape from the areas that will be exposed to the paint. Having done that, I was now ready to rough up the surface with some sandpaper. Always wear a mask with an air filter when sanding and painting. The vacuum is only needed when working inside a closed area. In addition to sanding the surface of the G5 case, sometimes there are chemicals and oils present on the surface and that will prevent the paint from sticking or it might cause a chemical reaction with the paint and that will mess up the paint job. Check with the paint department at your local hardware store. They can help you find the right solvents to clean your G5 case and leave it grease free. Some solvents are like a primer for spray paint, so that would also help. It would also be a good time to select your colors as some paint manufacturers make cleaning solvents, primers and clear coats that work specifically with their products. Not everyone wants a smooth, clean finish. I've done the smooth, shiny surfaces in the past, but this situation was different. Based on my personal design, I needed a slightly rough, matte finish with no gloss on the painted areas. So, I decided to use the appropriate grit of sandpaper based on the final texture that I desired. So here I am painting. My design utilizes two colors, one for each side, but it doesn't require having a clear line that separates both colors, so I do one side first, then I leave it for two days to dry properly, and then I do the other side. When spray painting, it's best to start by spraying a little paint in the air to clear the nozzle and get rid of any bubbles or heavy drops that might come out. Once you have that fine mist, then you can point the nozzle towards the case. Try to stay about 6 to 8 inches away from the case and move your can from side to side so that you spread the paint evenly and not make it too heavy in one specific area because then the paint will start to run and we don't want that. Depending on how strong the jet stream is from your nozzle, you may have to move closer or a little further away. I understand that not everyone may have the time or the desire to spray paint or even to cut the case. So to make your job easier, disassemble the case and carefully mark the areas that need to be cut out. Swing by an automotive or furniture paint shop and usually there are some young but talented apprentices willing to do some side work after official work hours. Most bosses have no problem with them doing side work because it allows them to hone their skills. A word of caution though, the design that you come up with is abstract, something that came from your imagination. It's not enough to tell them what you want. Print out diagrams of what you want and use colored pencils to show which colors need to go where. Spell out the lettering carefully 
and make sure you put the colors exactly where you need them in the finished product. If you decide to paint yourself, always remember to use a clear coat. The clear coat is transparent and sits on top of the paint job to protect it. Some clear coats require that you apply them within a few minutes of doing the paint job, while others require that you wait a few days until the paint is completely dry. Try to use a clear coat recommended by the paint manufacturer as a mismatched clear coat can mess up your paint job. After waiting a few days for my clear coat to dry, it was now time to address my mystery holes. Now, Apple sells some wheels for their Power Mac and when I first started doing this series of videos, you could either include them with your initial order for $400 or pay $700 if you decide to acquire them after initial purchase. I got this set of wheels off Amazon for less than $50. They look just as nice as Apple's wheels and unlike Apple's wheels, they do have brakes. The final step in the paint job was to apply the stickers. Now you know why I decided not to go with a smooth, shiny finish. A lot of people consider the Great White to be the most dangerous shark in the ocean because of its massive size and its aggressive hunting tactics. However, the Great White's cousin, the Shortfin Mako, is actually more aggressive and is also the fastest shark in the ocean, capable of reaching speeds as high as 45 miles an hour. It is also the most intelligent shark on the planet, with a brain size to body ratio that is superior to other sharks. So this computer that I'm building is like the Mako, small but very fast. So with my stickers on, the painting phase is complete. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications, because very soon I'll be doing part 5 where I'll be wiring the case and putting all the parts in.